This is 8-5 for math 7. I'm going to start with the triad from example 1, but before that I just wanted to talk just for a second about circumference first. Um, circumference is interesting because it means um, if you take the diameter, this distance, and triple it, you'll get the circumference. So if I take that diameter, um, maybe here's one of them, that's the length of one, that's the length of another, and that's the length of another. So if you take the diameter, multiply it by three, you'll get just short of all the way around the circle. If you actually multiplied it by 3.14, you would get exactly all the way around the circle. So in this part of the problem, they're basically saying if you take the circumference and divide it by the diameter, you're going to get about 3, a little more than 3, actually 3.14. Or another way to say it is 22 divided by 7. Um, the symbol that's used for that, like this is the symbol that we use for, for this many. <laughs> that symbol means that many. This symbol means that many. Okay, so that's the first part. So when you have a problem like this, if you want to know the circumference of this basketball hoop, the first thing that you have to do is you have to take the diameter, which is 9 inches, and you have to double it. So multiply the radius by 2 to get the diameter, which is 18 inches. Then you multiply that number by a little more than 3 to get the circumference. So the formula is, there's two formulas actually, 2 pi r, or you could say the circumference is pi d. In 2 pi r, the radius is 9, so we would put a 9 in place of the r. And then we would have 2 times pi times 9. And 2 times 9 is 18, so you get the circumference equals 18 pi. Down on this problem, you need the diameter in order to use it. So you would have to double the radius first and you figure out it's 18. So you end up getting c equals 18 times pi, which is exactly the same as this. And if I, they want us, they told us they want us to use 3.14. So if we type 18 times the calculator, 56.52. So it is 56.2 inches. I'm not sure, did they ask us to round it in any way? They did not. Um, so if the diameter is doubled, what happens to the circumference? Well, in this problem, the diameter was 18. So if we're not sure what that answer is, we could just try it. 18 doubled is 36, and 36, whoops, 36 times pi is, um, 36 times, and we end up getting 113.04. which, by the way, is this number doubled. So if you double the circumference, you also double the, di um, if you double the diameter, you also double the circumference. This is the example three, try it. If you came to my team's meeting last week, we actually did this one together. In this problem, we have this square, um, and they want us to use 3.14 for pi. So having a circumference of 9.42 means that 9.42 goes around the entire circle. So if the formula is circumference is equal to, um, let's do, let's do 2 pi r. 
2 pi r. Because they, in a couple of different places here, they give us the distance from the very middle of the circle to the edge, and that is the radius. So we might as well use the formula that has the radius in it. It'll make it easier. Um, so they told us what the circumference was. They told us that the circumference was 9.42. So we're going to put that number right there. So let's check out what this looks like. 9.42 equals 2 pi r. So I'm going to get rid of um, everything. I'm trying to get r by itself. And I'm going to get rid of everything with r, the 2 and the pi. Technically, you could do that all at once, but I'm going to do it step by step. So I'm going to start by getting rid of multiplying this problem by 2. The opposite of multiplying by 2 is dividing by 2. And that leaves us with 4.71 equals pi r. I think it's 4.71. Uh, let's see. I'm pretty sure I'm right, but if I'm wrong, I know somebody's going to tell me, so we good. Then uh, our goal is to still get r by itself. So the next thing we're going to do, uh, right now r is being multiplied by pi. And the opposite of multiplying by pi is dividing by pi. And we're going to do that on both sides. Um, 4.71 divided by pi, and they asked us to use 3.14. Um, let's try. 4.71 divided Oh, that's 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 crazy. The unit is just how big something is. So sometimes units are inches, sometimes units are miles, sometimes units are millimeters, and sometimes they don't tell you the units, so you just call them units. So that's the radius. So that means that this distance is 1.5 units and this distance is 1.5 units. And we know that this shape is a square. And we know that the formula for the area of the square is to multiply one side by another. So we're basically going to do 1.5 times 1.5, which I think is 2.25. We don't know how big those 2.25 things are, so we're just going to call them units. And the shape of those units are squares, so we're going to put a little square on the word unit. Not on the number itself, just on the word unit.